Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And tonight I'm going to, this video probably won't be very helpful for too many people, but I draw a lot in Corel and I draw and I rotate things on center. And sometimes you've drawn something and you bring it to where you want it and it's, the rotation cue is already 263.6 degrees. But this is where I want to start. And if you want to add you know, a certain amount of degrees there, you got to get out a calculator and let's say we want to move it 60 degrees, you know, 323 point, you know, six. And, and then the next time you've got to do it again. It's just it, irritating and uh, time consuming, but I've always wanted to try to figure out how to make this shape be zero setting. And I finally figured it out tonight, go up to a range, shaping shaping your shaping docker will come up then you're going to want to check leave original target object go here and you're going to weld you can take this away now move one away and now your new target your old one is uh, 263.6 but your new one at the same orient orientation is zero so when you want to do this, you can now move it to the center and I'm not going to take too much time to get it perfect. Uh, but when your nudge factor is set real, real low, you can get it right in your orientation, your center in the right in the center of the page. So then you're going to double click on it, move your rotation skew to the center. And we want this six times around. So it'll be, well, we didn't make, I didn't make a duplicate yet. Let's back up here. Control D. Rotate it 60 degrees. Hit the D, Control D again. And now you've got six equal. Now you could have done that, you know, with it being 263. Uh, but sometimes they're really confusing if they're you know, if it's at 323 degrees and you need to move it 60 degrees, then it's actually, you know, 23 degrees. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.